In Lancashire, residents near Blackburn will no longer get their water supply from the rivers Brennand and Whittendale. Instead, it'll be piped directly from a reservoir. This requires six miles of new pipeline. Colin Fairclough will manage this £10 million project. He's worked with the company for 20 years. Shit happens sometimes. A digger has accidentally broken part of the water main. Every half hour is different than every, every previous half hour. It's just everything's new. Um, I think if you do the same job for all of your life, same repetitive thing, you're soon going to get bored, aren't you? I think you need constant challenges, constant things coming up against you that you've got to resolve, problems you need to resolve, and it's, uh, it keeps life interesting. Blackburn Pipeline will supply water to over 30,000 customers, but not all of them are happy. At the top of the fields there, where you've dug, where you've dug your, your, your pipeline, you've dug a great big, a great big ditch, about, maybe about four or five foot high, right at the top of the field. Now, you've put that big ditch in that way, into that, and joined it all up, so all that water there, it's going to come down there, it's going to come this way. Just had a, a phone call from an irate resident uh, telling me that some works that we have done is causing flooding problems in his garden. We'll get it sorted. I'll have this guy smiling before we leave today. Hopefully. <laughs> Who's your colleague? Is he? Yes, he's, he's, he's my, next, my next door neighbour. Right, OK. <laughs> and he's a plumber, he knows about all, he, he knows all these systems. OK. At the, at the field boundary up there, we, we cleaned out an existing Ditch. No, you've extended it. Oh, you've made it bigger. No, no, you've right. extended it further on. To counteract the water that's been coming down the field over that wall. You've counteracted it. Whether right. you've put a drain in or not, you've counteracted it. So the water that's collecting into that big gully now, which has been extended about yeah, 10 yards, is going to collect and it's going to come all the way down here. So that ditch overruns, overflows then, is that what yeah. you're saying? Yeah, yeah, if you get too much water, yeah. it will. Right. Can we go and have a yeah, look? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> The customer is worried that the trench for the pipeline above his property will divert rainwater into a ditch that leads directly to his house. So what you're saying previously, all the water that came off that field normally went down there. What we've done since, we've extended that bit. You've extended it. So this is the natural flow, isn't it? Yeah. It's I mean, the easier, it takes the easiest route, doesn't it? Of course it, it does. So yeah. this is the easiest route. And what we've done we could have potentially caused you a problem by doing this. We've got to alleviate this, yeah. so we don't make your problem worse. That's right. So if we take a surface water drain yeah. and we can disperse it yeah, yeah. underground over there. Well, fine, yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as we don't get flooded. <laughs> hey, we don't always get it right. <laughs> but, uh, hey, we can always put it right later. Colin's system will drain any excess rainwater away from the property. <laughs> <laughs> I've just told your wife it was your fault, not yeah. my fault. I want to know if this is if this is. You know, you shouldn't say that when I've got a stick in my hand. We sorted it for you anyway. <laughs> End of story. All sorted. All resolved. So everybody can have a cup of tea now to uh, celebrate our uh, our good news there. Because I'm the construction manager. All the guys, they're not working for me, we're all working as a team. And because I'm driving it, it's like driving a vehicle and all these people are sat in the car with me, they're all doing their own little bit. But between us, we put the pipeline from right over there, as virtually as far as you can see, all through the fields, through the towns, right up here. And, and at the end of the day, a year's time from now, I'll get a wonderful feeling of satisfaction that we did that. We have made a big difference. We provided water from there to there. <laughs>